Hey, good morning YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm making another quick video in response to a question or a statement that someone made uh, when they were watching the video that I created about adding reverb to your microphone um, in voice meter. And they asked, or they basically said, now I just need to figure out a macro for that. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I, I can probably figure that out. So I went to the voice meter potato user guide, looked at some of the, um, basically the commands for macros and figured it out in about three minutes. So I thought I would share that with you. But just to do a quick recap, normally what you would have to do in order to add reverb to your microphone is you would have to go in here. See, my microphone is on strip two right here, input two. You would have to go in under special effects, find the reverb knob, which is right here. See that? And right now it's set to zero. So what you do is basically set a I'll call it a level for lack of better terms. I always just set it all the way up to 10. So there, I've basically turned on reverb on that strip, but right now nothing's happening because there's other things that you have to do. Now you have to go over to the output, right? The output bus that you, you want reverb to be on also. And in this instance, I'm going to go all the way over here to my virtual output, which is bus 7. I'm going to find the reverb knob under special effects. Right here, you'll see um, effects. You see R for reverb. And I'm going to basically take that, and I'm going to turn that all the way up to 10. So at this point, you're basically saying, hey, all right, I want input reverb on. I'm, putting, I'm setting it all the way to 10. Um, and it's not really a volume, and it's not really, a, I guess, maybe a mount of reverb. Um I don't know for sure. I've never really cared that much to look. I'm sure it tells me in the manual, but I've the input I have it turned up, and then the output that I want reverb on turned up. And now what I got to do is I basically have to turn on the effect now. So if you go under special effects, right, you'll see the reverb button. Left click, and now you should hear reverb on my microphone, my voice. And then to turn it off, I do that. Um, so in order to set that up, right, what, there's different reverbs you can get. You right click and it'll basically you come in here and you turn on or you set up the reverb effect how you want it. Vocal, church, stadium. I just got mine set to hall. So you have to do that first. So go ahead and do set that up however you want it. And then you can close that out. So now I'm going to show you how to make a macro here and Basically, what it does is this is a push button macro. So when I push the reverb button, you should hear reverb. And when I let it go, release it, now it's back to normal. So I'm going to show you what happens here when I do that button. So when I when I push the button, you will see on the Go XLR mic strip that special effects, that knob, went all the way up to 10. When I release it, it goes to zero, right? That's one of the things, first things we did. So the second thing we did right manually was go over here to the output and turn that reverb mo uh, knob up to 10. And when I click the button, you'll see the reverb knob goes up to 10 and, you know, reverb comes on. That's That was the second thing we did. And the last thing we had to do under special effects was turn actually turn on the actual effect. And again, when I do that, when I click the knob, you'll see that the effect reverb turns on. When I release it, it turns off. All right, hopefully that makes sense and I'm not going too fast. If I'm going too fast, just pause the video. Um, okay, now I'm going to show you how to set up the macro. So I'm going to, right, here's the buttons. In order to edit a button, you just right click. I named it reverb, button type. I made it a push button so that I can just go in, push the button, get the effect I want, release it, and I'm done. You can play around with the different, you could do a two position button. Um, to where you basically click it on and click it off if that's what you want to do. Um, but I like the push button effect because I don't want reverb on all the time, right? So whatever. what Your choice. Now here comes the meat and potatoes of this stuff. So, so for the request for button on when I push it, okay, here's the command. Um, my mic is on strip two. So remember, if, you, if you're looking up here and go left to right, Strip one, you start with zero. Alexa is one. Go XLR mic is two. So I say strip two, reverb equals 10. That's where I set that uh, numeric number on that knob to 10. And then I say when I push the button, bus seven, again, if you start, let's see, will this go over? 
Um, this is basically seven six five four three two one zero the bus. So again, bus seven is the output that I wanted on. That's what you guys are hearing. I've got um, OBS set up to capture um, the audio coming from that virtual output VAIO three. So that's where I want the effect on. So I say bus seven. Uh, what I want to do is return reverb equals 10. So again, it takes that numerical value 10 and takes that knob and pushes it up to 10. And then I say FX reverb on equals one and one. So that means turn it on. And then I basically take those same commands and I change the values to set everything back to what I consider a normal state where the strip two reverb knob returns to zero, the bus return uh, the reverb knob returns to zero and the FX reverb, uh, the reverb FX turns off. You could just use the, the last two commands here if you want to set the reverb knobs manually and go in and right turn them up and then just hit the button and it'll turn the effect on or off. I don't like to do that because, you know, you might forget to do that uh, for some reason or another. I just, again, like this whole setup here where it turns everything on and it turns everything off and gives me basically returns everything back to normal and then I just hit OK so that's it there you go that is reverb on reverb off so hopefully that all makes sense I don't like to make long videos because people don't watch long videos so I try to go through this fairly quickly if you got any questions comment I'll try to help you out um, if you do me a favor like this and subscribe to my channel I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers I do this uh, just to help um, fellow broadcasters and podcasters out I don't do it for my money um, as you can see I just post a video whenever um, I think the video uh, will help people um, so it's just kind of fun for me to do so again hopefully all that makes sense if you got any questions let me know i'll try to answer them so all right till next time have a great day youtube